Are you tired of being a noob? Do you aspire to be something bigger than yourself? Well then you've come to the right place at the right time. Because I am going to show you how to kill Zulra with no effort at all. After watching this guide, you will be able to sit back, relax, kill Zulra with practically no effort at all. No, not really though, you will still have to put in a little bit of effort to kill Zulra, but after watching this guide, it will become that tiny bit easier on you. And who knows, maybe you can even pull off a kill on the very first attempt. Alright, so let's get started on this guide. Unlike most guides, I will not start off by explaining the inventory and the gear setup that you should have. I will leave that for the end of the video. Uh, I will first start off by immediately diving into the strategies to fight Zulra and yeah, how Zulra mechanics actually work. Alright, so this picture shows everything you need to know about Zulra. Um, so Zulra has four different, um, how do you say this, phases four different patterns, uh, you could say. It will always follow one of these four and when it's done uh, with the whole pattern it will simply repeat and it will start a new pattern which can be uh, yeah, any of those four patterns. Now there are similar patterns. The middle two as you can see have similar as they are uh, exactly the same in the first three and last four three uh, Zulras. Uh, also I will say a Zulra for um, yeah for any uh, kind of how do you say this phase or any um, sub part of the whole entire pattern. So for example uh, this little uh, circle is a Zulra. So we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten Zulras um, in the two middle patterns, you have 12 Zulras um, in the first, uh, on the most left pattern, and you have 11 Zulras on the right pattern, the fourth pattern. So every single pattern starts off with the same kind of Zulra, which is a green Zulra, as you can see. Uh, it is located in the center, so central Zulra. Um, now the bottom thing you don't have to worry because the very first Zulra it will start off by simply um, spewing out eight clouds, so eight poisonous clouds or venomous clouds and then it will um, go into any of the three other um, Zulras. So any of the four patterns is uh, decided then. But yeah, the very first Zulra will not attack you. Now why did I put it there, five attack? Because once you've completed one entire pattern, it will go back to the first Zulra, so the first central green Zulra, but that time it will attack you with five attacks. So then you will have to protect range. Uh, when you first start doing Zulra, um, so the very first, um, when you enter the shrine of Zulra, it will not attack you, so you do not have to protect range. Alright, so the middle pattern, the shortest actually, well I don't know if it's the shortest in time, but it is in the amount of Zulras, only 10. Uh, it will always, so it will be a central red one, so a Milir, a Milir Zulra. Then uh, there will be a magic um, Zulra. Now, why did I put green and blue there? Because he can attack you with ranged as well. He will look magic. So every single uh, circle, every single Zulra you see with green and blue in the circle is always always looks like uh, a blue Zulra, a magic Zulra, but it attacks you with range as well. As you can see, I put run west next to the circle. That means simply to run west during this Zulra. Now the next Zulra is a Zulra to the south. 
and as you can see it uh, says four to five attacks but actually that is also not completely correct because I've had it happen that it only attacked once. So it's actually one to five attacks and all depends I think on the amount of times you've been there. What I mean by, th by that is that if you reach that Zulra in the very first pattern you're in then it will attack four to five times. However if you reach that Zulra in the second pattern let's say you haven't defeated it yet and you're on your second pattern uh, and you reach that Zulra it might only attack you one time. So after it attacked you uh, one to five times, it will start spewing out minions and clouds. Just so uh, to clarify um, this picture further, M means minion and C means clouds. It takes one animation to spew out one minion, but it takes one animation to spew out two clouds. So uh, if you see uh, here, for example, two minions, four clouds, two minions, that basically means six animations, four animations in total for the minions and two animations for the four clouds. During the spewing out of the clouds and the minions, of course, you can turn off your protection prayers if you want to. The next Zulra is, an, is a red Malir Zulra uh, who attacks two times. Um, if you stand in the spot I'm standing, you do not have to move at all. You can simply keep attacking it. Uh, you don't have to pray any uh, any protection prayers and just yeah keep attacking until you're done with that Zulra. The Zulra after that is a maging Zulra who can also range you. So protect magic or protect range. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, I mostly protect magic. He will attack you five times. Right after the fifth attack, turn off your magic or range prayer, whatever you had on, off, and run to the east uh, as fast as you can, because the next Zulra is going to be a um, non-attacking Zulra to the south, uh, a green Zulra, and he will instantly start spewing out clouds, so to avoid getting hit by the clouds, you run east as fast as you can and as you can see this green circle has white circles in it as well and if you notice there are multiple of those circles on the picture this means the Zulra does not attack you it only spews out clouds and minions so no protection prayer is required during these Zulras now the next Zulra is the same Zulra for the third pattern as well, which is a magic Zulra, who can also attack you with ranged. So turn on protect from magic or from ranged again you choose. Now as you can see I've put run west with their little arrow. What do I mean by this? It means during the five attacks you should run west. Of course you can also run west during the two minions, but I advise you to run west as soon as you can. After the two attacks, after two of his attacks, the clouds should disappear and that should be the the start for, for you to start running west because then you will not get hit by the clouds. So basically... The time you have is three attacks and two minions to run from the east to the west. You have to run from east to the west during that period because after the three attacks and the two minions, you will start spewing out clouds and then it will be too late. You can still run west, of course, but you will have damage, so yeah. Now, when you re reach the west, it's time to prepare for Jad. Uh, what I mostly do is already gear up in magic gear and continue attacking Zul the magic Zulra with magic, even though that is not as effective, but it is certainly effective if you just start it, uh, if this is your first attempt or your first few attempts to kill Zulra because the next Jad will require all of your focus and you cannot gear whilst protecting because this Jad uh, because this Zulra is a, a Jad kind of Zulra he will attack you with different styles ma magic and ranged uh, just like the maging Zulra actually but this will not be random this will be exactly five range attacks and four uh, five magic attacks but of course not in that order it will be a range attack magic attack range attack magic attack so what you have to do is switch prayers so once you've put on your magic gear and you've killed the magic Zulra it's time to put on your protect from ranging prayer and try to spam click Zulra because as soon as Zulra spews out its ranging attack you will have to switch your prayer to the magic protection prayer and you simply repeat the process as soon as you see the magic attack you switch to ranging protection prayer and you repeat and you repeat so all your focus should be on switching prayers if you do this a lot you can start counting and you can keep trying 
track of how many attacks he did. So once he did 10 attacks, he will start spewing, spewing out 8 clouds. And as you can see, I put a little arrow on the attack to run northeast. The goal is to, as soon as he has done his last, so 10th attack, his, or his 5th mage attack, you run northeast instantly, right after that attack, or even during that attack. Because right after he will start spewing clouds to the south part of the island, and if you do not run northeast immediately, you will get hit by the clouds, because you will have to run through it. So if you are too late, and you notice he starts spewing clouds already, and you aren't running, because the clouds appear almost instantaneously with the animation, as he does, so you have to be running before he starts doing the animation. If you see you are too late, it is better to actually stand a little longer and keep attacking Zulra. You don't do not have to pray at that moment because you will have to run through the clouds anyway, so it's better to get off a little bit more damage. But of course, it would be better to run before the clouds appear all the way to the northeast and pot and eat and whatever you have to do to get ready for the last Zulra, which is a melee Zulra, and this is the exact same Zulra as the second Zulra in this entire pattern. He will attack you twice and you have to avoid those two attacks. Then the pattern resets and the very first Zulra appears again, which is a green ranging Zulra. This time it will attack you with five attacks, so you have to pray range for five attacks long and then it will start spewing out clouds, so then you can turn it off again. And after that point it can go into any kind of pattern, so it's it's not 100% uh, guaranteed it will go into the same pattern you just had. Now I won't go over every single pattern like I did with this pattern just now. You can use a picture to see what will happen. However, if there is a demand for it, if it is asked in the comments, I will make a second part and maybe even third part to this video so that every single pattern is explained uh, thoroughly. But yeah, you can use a picture to know what is going on. But some things I do have to mention, which you cannot deduct from the picture, are of course the little arrows that go through the, the circles. That means you have to run what it says above so that can be a uh, run east for the first the left pattern and in the right pattern it's there's three arrows actually through the dots uh, through the circles and that's run northwest run west and run east and those arrows through the circles basically mean you have to run during this Zulra so you basically run and attack at the same time. So for the first pattern it would be you're on the west side, just killed the blue Zulra, well not killed, but that Zulra is over, and then you run to the east as you attack the central green Zulra, while it is ranging you and you're protecting from range of course. Now there's also two circles, as you can see, which are blue with a white circle in it, that just basically means it doesn't attack you, very simple. And then there's also uh, two circles with uh, only a little bit green, as you can see, uh, with diagonal lines through them in the first pattern, the most bottom two blue and green circles. That means that these two Maging Zulras mostly only use magic. I've never encountered Zulra in this pattern that attacks more than once with a ranging attack, so it is very strongly advised to really protect from magic and not from ranged with these two Zulras. The blue circles only attack with magic, at least that's what I've encountered, so, so there are three pure mage Zulras who do not use ranged. Also made a mistake in the picture, right here this should say run west of course, because you're already Already standing east. So yeah, that should say run west. Now there's one red melee Zulra form where you cannot stand next to the pillar, nor can you stand northeast. It's in fact a right pattern where you have to stand northwest after running there during the red Zulra. So simply do as I do to avoid its attacks. With the red Zulra on the very first pattern, uh, you will have to stand east, but just like you do with uh, the middle two patterns, you have to just stand next to the pillar and you do not have to move and it will not attack you. Um, what will happen mostly though is that you are running to the east whilst it is trying to attack you, but of course if you keep running he cannot hit you. Now a final thing I need to explain is of course the east jad. The east jad is basically the same for the first and fourth or left and right 
patterns. So there's actually two kinds of jet with a slight variation on one and in the middle two patterns it's always the west jet and in the left and right patterns it's always the east jet. With the left pattern you can see it only attacks eight times though and with the right pattern or the fourth it attacks 10 times. This jet on the east side begins with magic, so you have to start off with a protect from magic prayer and not with a protect from range prayer like the example I showed you earlier. Now for the secret you've all been waiting for. Simply put this picture right next to your runescape screen so you can keep track of where exactly you are in a single pattern and what kind of Zulra is coming next. You could Use this YouTube video, make it smaller and put it next to your RuneScape screen. You could also print screen and paste it in Photoshop or in Paint. You could download the video. If you print screen it and paste it in Paint or Photoshop, you could even erase or add some notes. Because I can understand there's a lot of text on this picture and it might confuse you if you are doing Zulra, seeing so much text and you'd rather just have a little bit, just something like only the color, the little um, circles and the place where Zulra is going to be at and not uh, how many attacks or minions or clouds and all those things. Um, so yeah, you can do whatever you want and trust me it will really help you kill Zulra because this is the only way I can kill Zulra at the moment of course. After a while you will learn this by heart and you do not need a picture to look at but for the first few kills this could really help you out and it will cause you to actually kill Zulra instead of die while learning. Now for the inventory setup and gear and all that stuff uh, I will quickly go over this because yeah you can basically already see what is preferred and all that stuff. So all you need to know is that the green Zulra is weak to uh, magic, the red Zulra is also weak to magic and the blue Zulra is weak to ranged. So you can basically, if you want to make it yourself easy, you can range all the Zulras, you can also mage all the Zulra, Zulras, or you could switch to magic or ranged uh, depending on who you're fighting. So yeah, ranged against the blue and magic against the green and red. You could use mystic ropes uh, as a magic bonus, you could use arims, you can use uh, even normal ropes, uh, wizard ropes, you could use that. Split bark, uh, you could also use void as you see in this clip. Why use void? Why? Should you use Void? Uh, it's simply because it's easier to switch uh, for a complete uh, ranged or magic bonus. If you're using Mystic Robes or Arams or whatever and you're still switching to ranged, it is very hard to uh, make an 8-way switch all the time. If you saw earlier in my previous clips I used Mystic and I switched only the to Black Dragonite Body and uh, Odium Ward. So yeah, I still had lots of slots uh, which did not give ranged bonus, such as my amulet, my bottoms, my helm. Yeah, whilst with Void, you basically uh, only need to switch the helm and the weapon to have uh, a very good ranged or magic bonus. You could use the Unholy Book instead of Wards, of course. You can use any other shield if you want. If you're going to range only, you can use Armadil, you can use Dragonhide. You have so many options. The best, of course, would be to use full armadil and full arims or infinity ropes or whatever and make an 8-way switch between uh, those full armor sets to um, deal the most damage. But I think the next best thing is indeed void. You could also switch your amulet from fury to occult necklace and you could even switch your uh, ava accumulator with the god capes for the most ma magic and ranged bonus. Now for your inventory, it's recommended you bring the best kind of food when you first start out, start out. so dark crabs, tuna potatoes, uh, manta rays <laughs> if people even sell that, sharks, uh, also bring ceratomine brews, super restores, um, magic potion, ranging potion uh, or one of those depending if you're going to uh, range only or mage only. Also bring an anti-venom plus potion, not a regular anti-venom because a regular anti-venom will not make you immune for a long time, it will make you immune for a very short time, so you're going to be sipping on that anti-venom almost every 5 to 10 seconds. Apart from that, do not forget your rings of recoil to kill the minions of course. Bring two rings of recoil. 
and of course equip one. Alright guys, so that was it for the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, tell your friends about it, subscribe, like and leave a comment. It is very much appreciated if you do so. And I'll see you in the next video.